and Jamal Murray. However, most surprising was that the reigning finals MVP LeBron received zero votes in the category. So Shannon, mm. what does this tell you? It tells me that how repetitions of things over time get repeated and how it becomes truth or fact. Mm. And that's kind of how it is. And if you go back and look at our history, things get repeated mm. over and over and over again. And then you're not knowing any better. You take that to be fact. You take that to be the gospel. Mm. But this is what we know to be true. That this is not speculation, Skip. This is not conjecture. This is not innuendo. This is fact. Mm. LeBron James has more playoff buzzer, buzzer beaters than every other player that got a vote combined. Let that sink in. Every player that the general manager says, I would want him to take the last shot. LeBron James, who did not get a vote, has more playoff buzzer beaters than every other player combined that got a vote. Hmm. In the final minutes of a playoff game, on a game time or go-ahead shots in their career, Kevin Durant is 28%. Steph Curry is 29%. Dame Lillard is 32%. LeBron James is 48%. Mm. Let that sink in. Now, that, mm. That's not speculation, Skip. This is not me making stuff up. Mm. This is like, oh, you a LeBron fan, man. You a this, you, 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 all that. Skip, this is, these are the numbers. Mm. Go look it up. Mm. This is, but see, the narrative is situated. Mm -hmm. I don't like you for doing that. You mm -hmm. a great person, mm -hmm. but you dead wrong for this one, Skip. Mm. You have perpetuated this for the better part when you say first take up on 2007? No, go, you got to go back to cold pizza. Okay, cold pizza. Yeah. Okay. Seriously, seriously. So 03, 04? 04. Okay. Started in 04. So we got, mm -hmm. so I fought you mm -hmm. for this 16 years of conspiracy theories. Yep. Sidney Powell, mm. you, yes, you, the, you, the, I can't believe you did this mm. because you got people actually believing that LeBron James cannot take or make clutch shots mm. when he has more playoff buzzer beaters. Mm. Then Dame and Steph and KD and everybody that got combined. Mm. And look at the percentages, Skip. Almost 50% on game time of going ahead shots in his career in the final mm. minutes. Mm. Almost 50%. Nobody else is over 35%. Mm. And the narrative is LeBron James is unclutch. Mm. Wow. You see what you've done? I hope you feel proud of yourself. I hope you sleep good at night. I'm about to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want everybody to let this sink in. Michael Jordan has the all-time most buzzer beaters, regular season and post, of nine. Mm -hmm. Kobe and Joe Johnson are next on that all-time list, including all games played, with eight. LeBron is next on that list with seven. But here's the big difference between Michael Jordan at nine and LeBron at seven. Michael Jordan, I mean, sorry, LeBron now has played 274 more games than Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. Think about that. That's a lot of games. That's about three and a half basketball seasons right. more that LeBron has played over Michael. So now LeBron in 1,525 games has made seven buzzer beaters. Count That's regular and post. Yes. Michael made nine in just 1,251, 274 fewer games. So LeBron James has made one buzzer beater in every 161 games he's played, or, right. or sort of one every two seasons that he's right. played, okay? And Michael made how many? One every one and a half season? Mm -hmm. That okay. nine in 1,251. So you, you could say... Yeah, one and a half season. Yeah, okay. So, again, buzzer beaters are pretty rare for everybody. Thank you. But we have to look harder at, at how many that LeBron has missed. And I even looked harder because I started this on cold pizza. I thought he was all-time great when I watched him at, at what is it, St. Mary St. Vincent. Is that yeah. how you say it? St. Mm -hmm. Mary St. Vincent. I, I watched him on TV in high school. I said, that guy is next. He's got Saint next. St. Vincent St. Mary. That guy's got next. <laughs> Here we go. And yet, then two years in, I'm saying, wait a second. In late-game situations, he looks like he's running from the late-game free-throw line because he is the worst superstar ever Late game, late and close free throws. You, he's the last guy you want on the free throw line. So then he started making the right pass, and his apologists were defending him. That he made the right pass because it, it was his turn to shoot it. He had single coverage with somebody. No, his turn is give you make the right play. Yeah, but if you're that guy, if you're Michael Jordan, if you got next, 
You just take and make that shot on a fairly consistent basis, and he did not. So, so would you say Michael Jordan took and made more or took and missed more? Buzz okay. me to that. You, you ready for the misses? Since LeBron James, I want everybody to let this sink in. Since LeBron James came into this league, no one is even close to how many late and close field goal shots that he's missed. Two or three point shots. He's missed 92. Next on that list is Dwayne Wade, who didn't play all those years across LeBron, with 77. But how about late and close free throws? LeBron has missed 15 in his career. Next on the list is J.R. Smith at eight since LeBron came into the league. So he's missed extremely high volume number of shots. So what are the odds after a while you're going to make one occasionally, aren't so, you? So let me ask you a question. So from 83 until 93, who would you say took the most buzzer beater shots in that time frame? I would say Michael Jordan. Probably. Okay, so now you're saying LeBron took the most. Well, shouldn't he if he's the best player? Well, Michael took the most from 84 mm -hmm. to 80, 93, mm -hmm. but I don't hear you saying anything about all those he missed. So here's the point. Every year they do this, the NBA.com GM poll. And year after year, LeBron gets no votes because they know what the truth is. He's all-time great. You can argue whatever we want to, top five, top ten, whatever. But he doesn't have that clutch gene. Because even if you look at, at the, the, the ones that he made, it, the first one came six years into his career. I watch every game. He made one at Golden State on a Friday night yeah. in 2009. And over Ronnie Turioff, and, and I watched it, and he made a little, it's like a 12, 14-foot jump shot, and it was good, and yeah. he made it at the buzzer to right. win the game. And then he made that Orlando shot heard around the world in game two to save them, and it was a catch-and-shoot on an inbound pass from Mo Williams where he just, it's right at the buzzer where he had no time to you think about it. You see what you did? No, but he just caught it, turned but, and but, shot but, it, and Turgaloo but, just yeah, let him shoot yeah. it. What else could he do, Skip, with point three, there, point there, four? You, you don't have time to decide, should I pass it? Should I shoot it? Should, do I have to worry about the free throw line? He just turned and shot it. Then the next one is game one against Indiana and Paul George. He, he, he has a left-handed layup at the buzzer to right, win the game, right. and he made it. And I give him that. He's 6'9". He made a left-handed layup. you have to make a he – under, he doesn't know. He doesn't, all he knows is that I'm going to get the ball. It's not his fault that Paul George play, chose to play backside and then he gave him the spin and let him go to the lane. That's not silly. Okay, what? but but again, what's the degree of difficulty of that buzzer beater? Like one on a scale of right. 10? I mean, you still got to, you, you could miss it, but he just laid it up off the glass. Right. And he is ambidextrous because yeah. he writes left-handed. Right, okay, correct. so yes. I, I got it. And then he gets mad at Chicago because Coach Blatt calls the play for Kyrie because Blatt knew what everybody else, he, he's thinking the same thing. I don't want him taking but my last shot. Me, I want Kyrie taking my question. last shot. What had given David Blatt? Because at, prior to that time, Kyrie hadn't taken or making any buzzer beaters. He hadn't made any last second shot. So what would make David Blatt, given the circumstances, more convinced that Kyrie was the guy to take the shot than LeBron when LeBron had already made those shots? Okay, but he just knew, I want that guy <laughs> taking my shot. Well, you know it, and I know Skip. it. And, and LeBron, to his credit, got mad and said, hell no. Skip. I want the basketball, and he shot it. It was a two-point shot from the, the baseline, and he made it. Prior to that. Kyrie had never even come close to the playoffs. LeBron had made playoff David Blatt clutch knew shots. what the deal was. Skip, do you remember the shot in Game 7 against uh, Kawhi mm -hmm. Leonard? He took and yeah. made that shot. Yeah? Yeah, he took that. Which one are you talking about? Game 7, when they came back in Game okay, 7, the NBA but, but it wasn't really even close. It was close. Okay, it was not. We came back and got you. Okay, well, he had just missed the, the, the one no, to I tie. No, I didn't say Game 6, I said Game 7. Well, he missed the one to tie, Skip, and he got saved. But, but see, here's the thing, though, Skip. I'm just trying to figure out a man that has more. Skip, now, you see, what you try to do is that you added regular season. Mm -hmm. now, now, when we come, you tell me playoffs is where it's at. Mm -hmm. The playoffs. Okay. This guy so, has so more then, then he goes down. He, he, he goaltends Oladipo against no, he Indiana. Didn't. Yes, he did. It was a flat-out goaltend, and and all the Pacers are looking at the ref like, you. How could you not blow the whistle on that one? And LeBron snakes the other way and makes a jump shot to win the game while they are still complaining to no, the ref. No, 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 jump. No, no, yep. no, 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 Not a jump shot. Mm. A three-pointer. Mm, well, okay. He okay. Well, then tell about the Toronto because he had okay. two in one, and, in one and, post. And I will go to my grave telling you he didn't mean to bank it against. Toronto because he dribbles the length of the floor because Ty Lue had the wisdom to say, let's not 
you take the ball at half court. Let's just let LeBron get up ahead of steam, remember, yeah. on uh, Ananobi? Uh, Ananobi. And, he, and he goes the length of the floor, and he gets so yes. deep to the baseline that he shoots it sideways, and it ticks off the backboard. He did not mean yes. to bank it, and it goes in. And I think the most shot guy in the house was LeBron, LeBron James. LeBron wasn't shot because yeah. he shoots that shot all the time. He, you, don't, you need the backboard there because you can barely kick the He got the a backboard. billion dollar contract with Nike. The oh, bank God. is always open for Gold James. Okay, so what did we... What have we seen in the playoffs? Let's just do the most recent playoffs. Let's do game two against Denver. It's it's a turning point of this series, and it's it's just two seconds left, and they are down two at this point. And the play is called for your man, LeBron James. You're saying, like, okay, he's clutch. He's clutch, and here we go. And, and he freezes. He does not move. Rondo said, I locked eyes with LeBron. He did not move. But play is called for LeBron. With decoy. Oh, but, but you don't decoy on a play yeah. called for you. Yes, you do. Because guess what? Because tell the people what happened. What did Mason Plumley do? His guy is the who, Skip? Anthony Davis. He runs to LeBron because Jeremy Grant has said, come, come, come. Gotcha. LeBron, no clutch gene, knew what was happening in the fourth quarter. He was one of six from the field, 0 of three from three in the fourth quarter, and 0 of one from the free throw line. And he's like, I know they called this for me, but I want no part of this. I hope somebody else gets open. So let me get Thank you.